everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make chicken pugogi with udon noodles. If you guys want to know how to make this, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. I actually made this a while back, uh, let's say earlier part of this year before I even started YouTube. So, I'm doing this again and I'm going to make an easier version of it than the one that I made before. And I'm actually doing this because I realize that some of my subscribers and viewers that actually watch this don't actually have access to all of the Asian markets that people here in Southern California do. So I've simplified this down so that you can find these ingredients inside any old regular grocery store, your Walmarts, your Targets, anywhere. And we should be able to make this at any time at home. So these are the vegetables I'm going to start off with. You can see I'm using only one half of a carrot and I'm going to cut these into matchstick thin strips. Carrots tend to be tough to cut through, so please be careful with this. I mean, go slow, depending on how sharp your knife is, you know, just be careful. If you do want them in thicker strips, you can totally do that. It doesn't have to be matchstick thin strips like I am doing right here, but I mean, it's just an option. And I'm using the carrots for basically more color, so even if you don't want to use carrots, you don't have to. This is completely optional. Moving on to our green onion, I am going to chop these up into thin little slices right here as you can see. And I'm only going to use part of it inside of the actual dish to cook with and I'm going to save a portion of it to garnish with later. So, don't have to, so you don't have to use all of it all at once. This actually helps with some of the flavor. If you have leeks instead, you can use that. Um, green onion, same family. So use the leek or the green onion, whatever you prefer or whatever you have access to. You know how that works. As for the onion, if you have a smaller medium sized onion, you can just use half of it. This is a very extra large onion that I'm using, so I'm only using a fourth of it. Cut these into thin strips. That's all you need for this. We're going to use this to cook with. Now I have grabbed here two semi-frozen, semi-defrosted chicken breast. These are on the smaller size, so I would say um, a little less than two pounds, maybe 12 to 14 ounces or so, give or take. It doesn't have to be exact, just two smaller chicken breasts. But all I'm doing is trimming off the fat and anything you don't want to eat, just trim all of that off. And I have it frozen or semi frozen because it's just easier to slice into thinner pieces when you have it like this. But you'll see that I did cut it in half and then I'm going to slice it into thin pieces because it'll be easier and faster to cook. It's going to absorb all the flavor and it's just delicious, so you don't have to worry about having to have it sit there and marinate for a long period of time. And just so you know, if you don't want to add udon no noodles and uh, you want to keep this more on the gluten-free side, you can use uh, vermicelli noodles, the potato, the sweet potato kind, or if you want to use rice noodles, or if you just want to eat this over rice, you can do that as well. Now grab all that chicken that you just sliced up and put it into a large bowl because we're going to put all of our ingredients right into this bowl and let it sit there and marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes. Use three to four minced garlics. Mine is already pureed so it's about three fourths of a tablespoon's worth for me. But go ahead and throw all that into your bowl as well as about a quarter cup or three to four tablespoons of soy sauce. You can use your gluten-free kind, your uh, reduced sodium kind, or your regular kind. It doesn't matter. We're going to add some black pepper to season with. You can use regular black pepper. You can use peppercorn and grind that right up into it as well. It, again, your preference, whatever you'd like to do with that. Now add a couple of tablespoons of sesame seed oil. Do not skip out on this part. This is what makes it more Korean and authentic and Asian, I guess. <laughs> but it's all good. And I'm using two tablespoons of Splenda. You can use sugar, you can use brown sugar, whichever you have, whichever works for you. And these are the main ingredients you're going to need to make this whole entire marinade. And it's still going to be absolutely delicious without all the other ingredients that other people have used in their recipes. And to be honest with you, Unless you cook a lot, um, specifically Korean foods, I guess, you're just not going to use those ingredients very often and it's just going to sit in your cupboard. So it's, I, I don't know, I feel like there was no point in that, which is why I came up with this whole thing right here. Okay, so you've got everything nicely mixed up and now all we're going to do is set that aside and grab your two packs of udon noodles. Now, if you can find these and if you do find these, you should be able to find them right 
next to like where you can find the tofu packages but you want the noodles that are already pre-cooked for you so you don't have to do that extra step if you cannot find these packages go ahead and get the regular udon noodles if you'd like to and then make sure you cook it and just follow the instruction on the package that you do find if you don't want noodles all together you can actually just take that pugogi, the chicken pugogi marinade that we just made and just grill it and you can just have regular chicken pugogi and you can eat that with rice or just with some lettuce or whatever it is that you enjoy it with all right so all we're going to do is open up these two packages of udon noodles and we're going to throw them into the bowl and then i am going to throw some water into it as well use warm water that'll help soften things up break it up and just kind of move it along a lot faster before we start cooking everything You can see that I'm using my fingers to kind of move it along just to break things up a little bit. That's all I'm doing. Is it necessary? No, because when you start cooking, it's going to actually fall apart and you're going to see it'll soften up by itself. But I mean, I don't know. I felt like I had to do this to make sure the water is absorbing all of the noodles. You can skip this part if you'd like to. Again, not necessary. Something I just felt like I wanted to do. I, you know, sometimes you just like to do things for yourself to make sure it's just reassuring yourself that's all it is that's what I did all right since you need 10 to 15 minutes to marinate all I did was just do my dishes and cleaned up everything and let it just started doing all of that before I started cooking and it's been about a good 10 to 15 minutes and we're gonna start cooking now see how easy and fast this is all of a sudden so I am using a large wok like skillet I put two tablespoons of vegetable oil cooking oil whatever oil that it is that you'd like and I'm gonna throw in all of my veggies first except for part of the green onions make sure you want to save part of that but whatever green onions touching whatever vegetables you've already throwing in there it's fine just throw all that in there but we're gonna go ahead and start sauteing our onions and our carrots first because you know carrots again are harder so you want to soften that up before we start eating this with our chicken so go ahead and just stir things around, break up your onions as you're going along with this and give it a few minutes. I think it took about a good three minutes to saute all of my veggies together. You'll see that the onions become more translucent and they'll start to turn more orange in color because the color is changing from the carrots. It's all transferring around inside the skillet. Go ahead and give it a good stir and then make a little pocket and throw your chicken right on top. And we're going to cook the chicken all the way through to make sure that it's fully cooked. Cooking the chicken is going to take about a good eight minutes or so. You want to make sure it's fully cooked before we throw our noodles in. So give yourself some time here to make sure everything's perfectly done before we do anything else. Now grab your strainer basket and make sure you go ahead and drain your noodles and then we're going to put our noodles right inside of the pot. This is a time where we're going to start stir frying our noodles into everything and the noodles are going to absorb all that extra juice and all the flavors that's been sitting in there. And you'll see while I'm cooking the noodles inside of the pot, how it's going to start changing colors. It's going to soften up a little bit. And you're going to want to break apart what you can and just to give it a little help moving it right along. Definitely keep things moving because you want it to absorb all the flavor while you're moving things around. And you don't want anything to burn. I've actually been stirring for a few minutes now and so what I'm going to do is grab my green onions and I'm going to throw a portion of it right inside of here so that it all cooks together. Remember to set aside a portion of it, just a little bit of it, just so we can garnish with it later. Can you guys see in the video here where the noodles have changed colors? Or at least some of it has because it's already been cooking and it's already taking in all the juices from the pugogi marinade. I believe this part took about a good four to five minutes all together and that's all it is. This dish will serve you a good four people with the noodles. So it's a good hearty dinner. Oh and also I did cook this on high the entire time for everything. 
So the chicken was cooked on high and then I threw my noodles in. That was also cooked on high. I did not adjust the temperature at all while I was cooking the whole entire dinner. Now all you have to do is serve this right into a bowl. Throw your green onions on top that we saved and set aside with some sesame seeds. And that is it. That's how easy dinner is. If you guys like this recipe, please make sure you hit subscribe, hit that like button, please share it. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.